Hey guys. hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Catherine. And I'm Leah. And you're watching Find Your Dirt Red. Thanks for tuning in to our maintenance video. So if y'all have a camper, or if y'all know people who have a camper, they've probably told you it's very complicated owning yeah. one. Cause every, not everything breaks, but some stuff break and it's just really hard. And so I broke <laughs> the outside faucet a couple months ago. So we went on Amazon and bought a new one. It's a Dura faucet and we are going to install it. And also shortly after I broke the outside faucet, um, the kitchen faucet started leaking. So we went to Lowe's and bought a new one and it's a residential one. And we're going to install that also. After the short intro, we'll show you how easy it is to fix up your own camper. As you can tell, we've already taken off the old one so we could get the exact match from the one that we ordered. And it's real easy. We have these locking washers back here and it depends on your application, but um, you have to reach around here to be able to install it. It was really easy for us. Um, it only took us five minutes. Yeah, and if you order from Dirt, it will uh, give you all the stuff you need. Let's get started. I see a turkey. Where? Behind it. Behind it. Oh my gosh, I see it also. I was like, is that a jack? So Leah's going to insert it for me while I put on the washers. So now I've gotten everything tightened and hooked up. So now let's get the shower hose, um, sorry, shower hose hooked up. So now I'm going to turn on the pump, see if it works. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> oh. I hear something. Now let's check our water line. <laughs> yes, water line. And you want to do that periodically just to make sure it's not leaking. So part of only a camper is you have to wash it so because it can't get too dirty. So yeah. we're going to do that and then we'll be back tomorrow and change the inside faucet. Bye. So we've got the outside one fixed. There's no leaks or anything. Now we're going to do the inside faucet. And it's common for most people to change theirs, but we got four years out of this one, so I think it did pretty good. But this is the one that we got. We picked this one up at Lowe's and you can get more expensive ones. This was just $100. And you know, our thinking was why, you know, spend like $300 on a sink for a camper. So we got this one. Tools needed for this repair is a Phillips head screwdriver and an adjustable wrench. Let's get started. <laughs> Due to tight quarters, we cannot film Leah down there fixing it. So we will put in some pictures for y'all. <laughs> well, go ahead. <laughs> The 
difference between an RV faucet and a residential faucet is that this one um, is 3 8 and this one is a half inch. So <laughs> um, because of that, these are not the same. We will have to go to the hardware store tomorrow to pick up an adapter. But we still can put in the new one, but we just can't hook it up. All I'm doing is putting it through the hole. Oops. Okay, push it down. And make sure, since this one's a swivel, you gotta make sure you find your stop point so you know it just doesn't go over there. And so all your new faucets come with this really easy <laughs> washer and you just thread the lines through and tighten it up. Oh, sorry, Leah. Hey guys, welcome back. So we went to Lowe's to get the fitting and it's all done, see? And it works perfect. And like, we used it on a trip and it's like awesome. I don't know. <laughs> no way you said awesome. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So we went to Lowe's to get the fitting and so it's all done. And we used it on a trip and it works great. So now let's talk about how we maintain our camper and keep it looking nice. So on the inside, we use Pledge just for all of the wood surfaces. And also we use Clorox wipes just to wipe down the counters. On the outside, we use Meguiar's soap. And then we use Lucas Mist and Wipe. This is the wax. We just put this on it after we wash it. Just keep bugs off. And then this one is the interior and we use it for the seal lube so it doesn't get dry and both of these are UV protective the reason why we get this kind instead of the ones that you get at the camper store is because this is first of all way cheaper it's seven dollars at Walmart versus when you get it at the camper store it's like twenty four dollars and this one also has UV protectant and the other one doesn't Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like and hit the subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. So you'll get notified every time we post a new video. And stay tuned for next week's video because we will be showing you how we do school. And you don't want to miss it. Bye. Bye.